we now want to be talking about entering time uh, from our employees, for example. Now, first, let's take a look at a flowchart to think about why we would want to do this and when it might be applicable for what type of industry uh, might use it. So let's go to the flowchart. This is the desktop flowchart, but we're just looking at the flow here. Now, the first reason would be for payroll purposes. So if we had, for example, hourly employees, we would need to get their time in some way, shape or form. But that's not typically the only reason we would want to track time. Many kinds of companies might also want to track the time so they can use it to add to the invoice to bill the clients based on time. So let's first think about the payroll situation. We set up payroll within QuickBooks. If we have hourly employees, we're going to have to collect their hours in some way, shape or form. We can do this multiple different ways. We might just have them uh, enter the time into the system on a manual or they might just give us the time in an Excel sheet or in a Word document or whatever, another program. As we process the payroll, we can just enter the time in that way. So that, that would work, that would be fine. Or we can have them enter the time in the timesheets, approve the time, and then the timesheets will automatically pull over as we process the payroll. And, and so we can use that method and that method works as well. Now, sometimes we might want to get a little bit more intrusive as the employer and actually track them kind of like they're on the clock with the old ticking, you know, where they clock in and I can actually see that they're logged in on working at that point in time. So we can use, there's another uh, system within QuickBooks that you can use to actually track them and possibly even see where their location is when they're logged in and notify you if they've gone into overtime uh, or any of that kind of stuff. So we'll touch into that but that's going a little above and beyond what we're gonna get into in detail right here. But you can look into that uh, for more options, which will not only give you the time, but also give you that more tracking features and whatnot and notifications and all that kind of stuff. And then we might use the time in order to uh, populate and bill invoices. Now this will usually be done in like a job cost kind of system, which might be a construction company, for example, but oftentimes like service businesses are structured this way as well in a job cost system. And that a classic accounting firm, a CPA firm, a law firm, for example, might have partners. And then the partners are gonna be using the staff who they're gonna be working, working to death. <laughs> and then they're gonna bill their clients based on the work of the staff. So note that the staff then might be might be salaried employees, right? We might be paying them a salaried employee so that we don't really need their time necessarily to pay them. We need their timesheets in order to populate so we can bill the clients based on. If you ever see that 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 movie, I guess it's a little old now. It's called The Devil's Advocate where you had a lawyer that was they were a firm for the mob and he didn't know and all this kind of stuff. And the guy tell, tells the new lawyer one time, he's like, I don't even care if you're just thinking about a client in the taxi. You've got to build the client, right? That's how we make money here. So that's going to be, that's going to be the idea here. And then the question is, if that's the system we have, then the question is, if Adam is my customer or is my employee, am I going to bill Adam based on a standard rate, which will not necessarily be his hourly rate, because we're at least going to mark up his hourly rate. It's gonna be a rate specific to Adam based on what Adam does, like $100 an hour for Adam's work or something. Or are we gonna to try to bill based on what Adam has done and apply rates based on what he did? In other words, he did bookkeeping. Therefore, I'm gonna bill out on a rate applied to the bookkeeping work versus tax work or something like that. So that's gonna be the basic structure that we're thinking about.